Now to make a sky just like Georgia O'Keeffe, you're going to paint horizontally, meaning going back and forth a long way on your paper, just like a horizon, the hot dog way, horizontally. I'm using all colors of blues and purples, and I'm blending them on my paper, making long stripes going back and forth. Now, it looks like I'm going very fast because my paper is sped up, but you're going to make horizontal lines going back and forth. I'm mixing my colors so it looks like a sky. I'm using blues, purples, and pinks. You can do yours however you want. And you're going to finish this, and you're going to let that dry until tomorrow when we finish our sky above clouds. But then you're going to make another painting today that you're going to finish tomorrow. But if you notice, I am mixing my colors and you can blend them too. I'm using turquoises, blues, pinks, and purples. And all of my lines are stripy and horizontal. My table isn't really that big, so I didn't go all the way to the ends. But I would like it if you go all the way to the ends. So if you watch me, I'm going all the way to the bottom of my paper, and then I'm going to leave that to dry for tomorrow's art lesson. And I blend them all together. And if at the very end you want to take just water and do that now. Now for my cloud paper, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of white paper and I'm going to wet it down all the way and I am going to then put my paint on it and you're going to see that in a moment. So first thing I'm going to do is wet it with clear water. Because I put the clear water on it first, you can see I get the lightest possible blue I can because tomorrow we're going to be making clouds out of this. And we're going to do the same trick we did with the dinosaurs. So once you get your paper covered with the lightest, lightest possible blue you can get, like you can almost not see it, and you can spread it out with water as best you can. Just cover your whole paper with the very, very lightest blue you can possibly get. Um, cover your whole paper, and then you're going to put the salt on it and let it dry just like we did with the dinosaurs so that we can get that super cool um, watercolor effect that we did before. And you can sprinkle as much salt or as little salt as you possibly want on there. And then again, you're going to leave that dry until tomorrow. And then we'll see what we do for tomorrow.